Thank you. Thank you, Peter, so much. And thank you all for being here. Thank you to all our friends in labor, my colleagues. Uh, earlier today on the floor of the House of Representatives, we were memorializing uh, worker safety and Workers' Memorial Day and the struggle that workers have every day to provide a safe workplace. Today we're here to memorialize the struggle that workers have every day to get fairly compensated for their works, and specifically for people in the recording industry and the artists that perform and that bring us joy, bring us, uh, bring us all kinds of quality of life, and uh, bring us their creativity, and to make sure that they're, they're justly compensated. If they're singing and they're entertaining, and they're successful, and the music is played on the radio, and they perform it, they don't get paid. <coughs> It's unfair, it's wrong, and it's part of the issues of fair compensation in this country. Many people overlook it. They think that all performers are doing well. We know that most performers are struggling, and even those who do very well only bring the average up to about $40,000 a year for people who remain in the industry between 10, 15 years. And so this legislation is essential. We cannot let stand the idea that as we see greater and greater consolidation in the media, that somehow those large media corporations are able to use the work product, the creativity of these performers and not, uh, and not uh, uh, compensate them. So this is a basic principle. This legislation is fair, it's fundamental, and it's easily understood. So that we, we should not have trouble passing it and restoring these rights to these, to these individuals. That's what I'm here to say today, that we have to understand the workplace in its totality, and we've got to struggle for the, for the justice in the workplace. And it's my honor to, uh, to one, thank Peter for performing. I'm glad you weren't doing it on the radio. <laughs> it's always there. All my, all my public life, Peter Yarl has been alongside us on one cause after another in the name of justice and all of the good things. Thank you so very, very much. Another person that's been here almost in my entire public life in various iterations, various roles in leadership, various fights for reform is, is, is President Trumpka, new President Trumpka. Richard, thank you so much for being here today and to be part of this struggle and to lead the way among the AFL-CIO on behalf of these workers to make sure that they're, uh, they're fairly compensated. You and I have struggled many, many times in the names of workers. Uh, and your, your background, uh, as we did Memorial Day today on the uh, uh, Workers' Memorial on the, on the floor, uh, certainly focusing attention on the mine workers, your brothers and sisters in the mine, we know how long you've, you've struggled in that union to get rid of the loopholes that are so often used. Today, we want to get rid of another loophole. We, got to, we want to get a, rid, of, rid of a loophole that denies these the performers just compensation for their work, their performance, their creativity. Richard Trumka, thank you so much. <laughs>